Here to Marvel and the dunk to Pitt. Good late afternoon, everyone, and welcome into Bear River High School, wrapping up the Bear River Winter Classic here between the Bear River Bears and the Uinta Utes. Both teams have had a pretty good, pretty good draw this weekend. Don't think. Now I'm drawing a blank. Uinta might have lost one. You Did know, you? I, don't, I don't know. I didn't pay very good attention. So, <laughs> yeah. Bear River coming to this one undefeated in the Winter Classic. Only one loss on the season, their first game against Bonneville, but that one came down to a last second shot. But again, joining us, Dax Sorensen on the call here for this one, Bear River alumni. Happy to be here. I'm excited. This is the first one of the season for me, so it'll be well, fun. No better place to start than right here at the Bear River Winter Classic. Like it says, Bear River has got a win against Union, who they faced the first night, and then this last night gave uh, American Prep Academy their first loss of the season. Yeah, that was a good game. It's a really good game. I mean, defensively, I mean, fairly low-scoring game. It was in the 50s again. Yeah. Um, and I expect to see a lot of the same today. Um, I think this Bear River team is a really good defensive team. Um, especially you have Kaser Thurgood stepping up as a sophomore. I mean, last night he showed um, how good of a defender he was against uh, number four, a core from uh, APA. So it'll be it'll be interesting to see, especially with Kyver out today. So yeah, due um, to an ankle injury. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right. We'll step aside for the. Uh, the National Anthem starting lineups, game brought to you by West Liberty Foods, can be a part of the leading co-packer, private, ma <laughs> private meat manufacturer, precise deli meats there at West Liberty Foods. Things all right with our country's National Anthem, so if you at all, please stand. Remove your hats, cover your hearts, and face the flag. Thank you very much. Now for the Uinta starting five. Warrior number five today, Dawson Gardner. Warrior number 11, JJ Jensen. Warrior number 15, J.R. Perry. Warrior number 23, Braden Murray. 
Wearing number 25, J.D. Pickup. Head coach is Brandon Johnson. And now, for the starting time from your Bear Bears, a senior wearing number three, Thank you for hopping on and supporting by watching. Like I think the sponsors will be doing that throughout this ball game. We get you ready here to wrap up the Winter Classic here between the Bear River Bears and the UNA Utes. We'll start it off, we'll have Mason Sorensen jumping against Dawson Gardner. All right, so the ball is up, and Mason misses the ball, but Uinta comes down with it. They'll bring it up, dribble into the corner, kick it back up top. Dribble left, near side. Skip down the lane, jump shot over Gary, good. So Bears will start in a no two hole, and Owen Olson gets picked up at half court. Skip cross to Bridger Barfus in the corner to Sorensen. Good cut by Bridger, kicked out to Owen. Back up top to Jace, Jace dribbles left. Kick out to Gehrig, down the middle. Back out, we're gonna reset. Mason Sorensen up top, out to Bridger. And Bridger will set up the offense here. In the middle to Gehrig. Good cut by Jace Roberts. Nice find by Gehrig Marble, and the Bears tie it up at two. Good so here move. we go. Good movement off the ball. You had two guys under the hoop actually, wide open. Yeah, that's one thing. The Bears look to be doing a little bit different today as more cuts off the ball. Gardner, step back three over Roberts, rebounded by Roberts. So they'll clear the ball. Mason Sorensen in the corner. Ooh, he had Owen Olsen there, but he decided not to throw it. Sorensen looking for a post up, get it down into him. Goes to work, up, and just in and out, back up. Maybe could have got fouled, but they're going to kick it out. Jace Roberts for the three, got it. It's our first Caldwell Banker money ball. Oh, that's it's right. That's the money ball. I got to get into that. <laughs> okay, we'll remember that. Ball batted around, kicked back out to Gardner. Finds number 13, cutting, throws it through his legs. Owen goes for the ball, and they're going to call a, just out of bounds. No foul, I don't think. The whistle came awful early for <laughs> being out of bounds. Yeah. So Gardner to inbound, gets it into Braden Murray. Murray finds JJ Jensen, back up to Murray. Dribbles left, gets all the way to the hole and up. Got it. Pick up, picks it hard on the left side. Chase taking it middle, crosses the timeline, finds Bridger on the near side. Into the corner to Owen Olsen. Skip pass, and it's going to go out of bounds. So Union's going to get the ball off of a sloppy, sloppy pass and uh, sloppy possession overall. Um, so Bears got to clean that up here. But um, Gardner bringing it up. Gardner for three. No good. Deep three. Rebounded by Marble. Bridger Barfus speeding across the... Across the timeline, Gehrig with the ball again. Owen, back cut, got it. Good cut by Owen Olsen there. Great find by Gehrig. Jensen driving right, and he's going to be fouled by Bridger Barfus going up, so he'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. 
Restricted to Frank Mays. Could do free throw line for either team. 7 4 the ball. The score. Harpers is going up, coming down hard. Top of Jensen. First one's up and good for JJ Jensen. Jensen's second shot is up and good. So Bears still lead by one with just over five minutes in the first. Skip pass, Bridger Barfus, he's gonna get fouled. Foul be on number 13, I think Jair, Jair Perry. Help, I didn't just butcher the first name. So each team has one team foul here given to them. Jace looks inside to Garrick, finds Bridger in the corner. Bridger tries to drive left, cut off. Back out to Owen. Owen looking inside. Doesn't get it to him. Bridger going to pull it back out, set it back up. Finds Garrick inside. Back cut again. Owen Olsen is finding all the holes in the defense here right now. Back to back, sneaking in through the back door. So Gardner gets it up to Jensen quick near side. Jensen working on Owen Olsen. Step back, no. He's going to decide to pass it out. Gets it up to Gardner. Hesitates, goes right, puts up a shot off the glass, and good. And again, Owen Olson. And there's the and one, too. Owen is finding all the holes in the defense. Sees a guy with his back turned to him, cuts, and he's that's, that's the third one he's gotten so far. If you're seeing our replay. You don't like to thank them for being a replay sponsor all season long. Yeah, just nobody picks them up. Three lane. Three point opportunity. Made it. Kicked out to, I forget their last names. 25 out to Gardner. Gardner pull up at the high post. Nothing there. Throws it off Mason Sorensen. Bridger Barfus picks it up. Owen's going to bring the ball up. Quick ahead to Jace Roberts. Bridger looking inside. Garrick's got it. Owen oh, for a money ball, no good. Rebounded Mason Sorensen and up and good. Good work on the glass for Mason there. And so Gardner will bring it the other way. Working on Jace Roberts, far side. Kicks over to Jensen. Jensen thinks about the three, drives middle. Stolen, pickpocketed by Bridger Barfus. Great new course still here for Barfus. I'll learn all these sponsors <laughs> at some point. Yeah. Ooh. Good. And now Barfus. Barfus is Barfus is following Owen Olson. Lead by example. Taking a bump, the shot won't count. So Owen Olson, who has kind of struggled to put the ball in the basket the last few days, has already got already got six points. Yeah. Or no, he no, he's got seven. Yeah, because he hit the free throw. Yeah, not quiet here in this one. Well, timeout taken by Uena. We'll take it with them. It's a full timeout. We'll step aside and bring you back to the Bear of a Winter Classic when we come back. <laughs> Rudd Funeral Home is there to serve your family in your time of need. Find your next career at West Liberty Foods. Visit careers.wlfoods.com. Welcome back here to the Bear River Winter Classic. Both teams with two team fouls. So you into will inbound the ball, coming out of the timeout. Bears got a 16-8 or 16-8 lead. Here, Gardner kicking it out. Jensen thinks about a three, skips it over 13. 
Back in the corner, 25, Mason Sorensen jumps, drives baseline. They're going to kick it out, set it back up. That's Perry dribbling around. Jensen for the three, no good. Short, rebounded by Marble. Jace Roberts will bring the ball across the court. Braden Ritter's on the floor now, too. Bridger, near side. Finds Ritter. Ritter's going to go to the basket, get a wide open layup. Great move there. A um, little bit too much anticipation there by the defense, and Ritter gets a wide open layup. Yeah, the Bears going with three bigs. You call Jace Roberts another big down there, too. Yeah, that's a scary lineup for opposing teams. I mean, you have 6'6", Garrick Marble. Braden Ritter and Mason Sorensen both at 6'7". That's not something that you see often, especially coming out of Bear River High School. No. But uh, Garrick will get called for the foul on the shot. Jensen out of the Frank Mason free throw line. First one up, no good. Andrew Oldham checks in here for the Utes. Rebounded Roberts, second one's off too. Barfus thought about the three dribbles right. Kicks it back out to Roberts. Roberts near side. Take the screen, nope, rejects the screen. There's a slap, ball go out off of Uinta. So the Bears will retain possession. Nineteen on the shot clock. Garrig up top, looking down, finds Ritter. Ritter going to work, puts up a shot, no good off the rim. Garrig goes for the rebound, doesn't get it. Uinta comes down with it. Ooh. Almost intercepted. Jace Roberts playing defensive back again. Bridger Barfus with the new core steal. Takes it the other way and got it. That's a layup by Bridger Barfus, and that'll put him at, I believe, four points on the day. So, again, Bridger and Owen both off to a pretty quick start. Dribble right by Gardner. Kick down to the big man. Jace Roberts reaching in, and they're going to call him for a kickball. Try to play a little soccer there to get, the, get away with that one, but uh, doesn't quite come up with it there. Cash Avery and Kaser Thurgood checking in for the first time. Kaser's one of those. Kaser, I mentioned earlier, Kaser's had a phenomenal weekend. Um, the sophomore coming out, first few home games with the Bears. But um, Gardner for three, no good. Rebounded by Mason Sorensen. Marble bringing the ball across the timeline. Near side to Cash. Cash over to Kaser. Kaser surveying the defense, dribbles right. Kicks it out to Gehrig. Near side holds the ball, finds Ritter down low. Garrett cutting, nothing there. Ritter's going to go to work. Steps back right, pump fake up, and good off the glass. Braden Ritter going to work down there. Ritter's had a pretty quick start, too. Yeah. No, the Bears looking good, pulling away early in this one. Something that they haven't been able to do so far this season. Yeah. Good defense by the Bears. Garrig up on Gardner. Gardner skip pass. Dribble drive off the glass is good for, that is, Ander Oldham. Fancy move to split the defense on that last time. This one just yeah. thrown away. Yep. So you until get the ball back with 37 seconds to go. 33 on the shot clock. Bears going to a 3-2. Driving light. Jensen kicked out to number 33, Trayson McKeechnie, which who, who gets fouled, and now he'll go. Well, I guess the ball will be down, so. Yep. Fourth team foul. It's only the first one for Marble, but the first uh, first couple games, Marble's been in foul trouble. I was going to say knock on wood right here. I mean, usually by this time he's got two. <laughs> yeah. Jensen drives, new course steal again by Kaser Thurgood. Thurgood goes up through the contact, no good. He'll go to the Frank Mayski do free throw line, shooting two. Yeah, quick hands here by Thurgood. You're watching again on the CNR replay. Just lightning fast, back the other way. 
First shot's up and rims in and out. Step back on the line to shoot one more. 19 seconds to go. Bears lead 22-10. Second one's up and good. Casey Thurgood. Good aggressive defense by Thurgood. Keeps his hands out, no foul, great defense there. Gardner looking to go left, dribbles left, kick out to Jensen, Jensen for three on the other side, no good. And Ritter comes up with a new course steal, but no time left on the clock. So at the end of the first quarter, Bears lead 23 to 10. Not too bad of a start here for the Bears. We'll take a commercial break, being back for the second quarter here at the Bear Winter Classic. The Grill has a wide variety of homemade appetizers. Can't decide what to get? Then build an appetizer combo. No matter what you're craving, The Grill has something for everyone. Let Trudy Hatch and Shannon Johnson help you get into the home of your dreams. They're your local experts for all your mortgage needs. Give them a call today. here at the Berber Winter Classic again. Thank you for your support by hopping on and watching here on your Saturday afternoon. So they're good to inbound the ball to Owen Olsen at the start of the second quarter. Owen, who's had a hot start, checking back into the game. Drives middle, kick out Thurgood for the three on the far side. Oh, money ball. That's a money ball. There we go. I'm picking up on these sponsors. Gardner for the three. Got it. So they'll match it. Right back at them. Back and forth, and if you're cheering for you, wanna, you like to see that, see if you can get back into this one. Now off a steal. Jensen streaking down the court, doesn't get it. And uh, ball go out of bounds, so back to the Bears. Just a kind of a sloppy fast break there, but for the first time this weekend, Ty Jones will check in for Mason Sorensen. Avery crosses the timeline, pass with to Casey Thurgood. Thurgood on the ground, surrounded, and be a jump ball, I believe going to Uinta. Nope, they switch it. Oh yeah, they do. Yep, the Bears came out with the ball at the yep. start of the quarter, so. You're all over it. I wouldn't say all over <laughs> it, I mean. I don't know, I just looked at the arrow. <laughs> all right, Jensen, far side. Into the corner, number 33. Kick back out to Jensen. Jensen, and there's a foul near side. First one against Bear River. I believe that'll be on, yeah, Cash Avery. So Cash will pick up his first. So 33 is, his name is Trayson McKeechney. I will try to remember that, because I just keep saying 33. I'll learn them one at a time. <laughs> Gardner gets the ball, defended by Jones, dribbles right, or dribbles left, step back three, no good. Fighting for the rebound under there is Kaser Thurgood, comes up with it. Cash Avery got the ball, cross over there, gets the ball across the timeline, loses it, almost goes out of bounds, saves the ball, and so they'll set up an offense with 27 on the shot clock. Olsen looking down, finds Ritter. Ooh, Cash Avery was wide open on the block. Ritter going to work, kick out to Owen. Owen, pump fake, goes left, puts up a shot, got it. That's a starting, he's got nine already here in the first quarter. Yeah, big game so far here from Olsen. Jensen dribbles down Olsen, puts up a shot, no good, rebounded by Thurgood. Thurgood. Crossing the timeline, gets it far corner to Cash Avery. Avery got Ritter down low, cut. 
Doesn't take the cut. Ritter going to work. Got it. Puts up the shot going middle. Ritter's going to work down low too. Yeah, had a fight to get that one back up for that shot. Muscles through. So pick up, kicked out to McKeachney. Gardner left, puts up the layup, no good. Cash Avery's gonna have a breakaway layup and got it. So good transition offense by the Bears. Owen Olsen looking up and finding Cash Avery, who I think that was actually a connection that we had during the football season. Yep. So Jensen for three, no good. Rebounded by Ritter. Bears will come the other way. Something that you don't see often, Ritter bringing the ball up. Yep. Gets it to Cash up top, far side Owen, Cash cutting. Backing a man down, fadeaway jump shot, no good. Rebounded by Owen. Good work, Kaser out near side for the money ball, no good. Rebounded by Olsen again, but this one he's gonna throw it away and they're gonna take out a ref while they're at it. Slow to get up. So that's gonna go here to the youth. On a foul. Bears bring their starters back into the ball game. Aside from the Jones. So yeah, Jason, Jace Roberts and uh, Bridger Barfels check back in for some, I think, defensive support here. Um, Bridger, good defense, good rebound. Go the other way. Owen kicked up to Roberts. Owen with the cut, nothing there. Down low to, jo to Jones. Jones gets fouled, so he'll go to the Frank Mescadu free throw line. Yeah, the youth's not making it easy on the Bears down low. They've certainly cleaned that up from the first quarter. Yeah, I mean, they got torch down low, and Ritter's still going to work down there. But, uh, yeah, they definitely probably made some adjustments um, since the first quarter. So first shot's up and no good for Jones. Second one's up and got it. So Sutton brings the ball up and kicks it over to 25, 25 to 23, 12. I'm gonna learn their names at some point, but it's not right now. Gardner dribbling left, spins back right. Wow, what a shot, man. What a shot by Dawson know, I, Gardner. I don't know how you defend that one. You can't, <laughs> you can't. I mean, I think they did the best they could, but they leave Barfus open for the money ball, no good. Rebounded by Ritter, Ritter get the rebound and kicking it out quick. So Owen will reset it. And Jones will go up and right into the bottom of the rim. Rebounded by Sutton, Sutton taking it the other way. Got Jace Gardner, falls down, keeps his dribble. Gardner surveys the defense, Sutton cuts, but there's nothing there. Far side is Gardner. 23 up top, kicked over to, I believe, pickup. Um, but Roberts rebounds off the block, and Barfus got the ball near side. Down to Ritter, Ritter again going to work on the low post, up, no good. Owen flies in for the rebound, doesn't get it, but it's and it's going to go Utes ball. JJ Jensen checking back in for the Utes in for the first time. Brody Miller, and Mason Swanson checking back in. Sutton crosses the timeline. Wild throw. Gardner ends up with it on the near side. Guarded by Jace. Jace cuts him off going baseline. Wild pass out to Sutton in the corner on the far side. Going middle. Kick out, 23 for the three. Got it. That was number 23, Braden Murray, the junior for Uinta. So three minutes to go, 33 to 18 lead for the Bears. Brody Miller, far side. Here comes the trap, kicks out of it. Jace Roberts trying to get it down to Sorensen. Nothing there. Sorensen puts up the jump shot. Got it from the free throw line. Great shot by Mason Sorensen. Good find by Jace Roberts. Jensen spins back middle over Barfus. Nothing there. Barfus will pick it up. Kicked out to Brody Miller. Brody Miller finds Mason Sorensen far side. Mason 
drip, takes a dribble, kicks it out to Roberts. Driving left, finds Bridger. Brody Miller near side, hesitates, kicks it to Owen. Mason going to work down there. Mason goes up and one. Mason Sorensen. That's a proud brother moment. <laughs> so he'll go to the Frank Mayski do free throw line. Colin Fort posting up down low. Good play. It's a little late coming uh, help on the defense. Second team foul against the Utes. Shots up and no good for Mason. That's something he's kind of struggled with this weekend is free throws, but I mean, early in the season. Oh, off the glass. Mason Sorensen pins him off the backboard. That'll make up for the missed free throw. Down fast to Mil Miller, driving middle. And there's a travel. And they're going to call a travel on him, yeah. Yeah, going back to the block here by Sorensen. That's what we like to see. It's good to have height. Yeah. Something we're not used to. Something I wish I would have picked <laughs> up, but I guess he stole those jeans from me. Quick hands. Olsen with the new core still, but he's going to get fouled before they can go anywhere with it. Now the third team foul here against the Utes. Bears have two team fouls against them. Oldham checks back in as well as Perry. Here for the UNA Utes. Jason in the corner, dribbles left. Kick out to Miller, but there's a travel before then. Shot doesn't go up, so uh, possession will go back to Uinta. That's that's two out of the last three possessions were travels. Yeah, a little bit more to clean up here for Bear River in the second quarter. Yeah, for sure. So Oldham kicks far side to 13, down low to Gardner. Gardner working on Roberts. Decides to go up with an air ball from about eight feet, and there will be a foul on the ground. Gonna call it on Jace Roberts. So he'll pick up his first. Gardner, far side, three pointer, no good. Rebounded by number 13. No good again, so there's another rebound for Owen Olson. He's gotta be leading the Bears on the boards right now. Yeah, Olsen. Sorensen fights for the ball, loses it, but it goes out to Jace Roberts. Owen, near side money ball, got it. There's the money ball for Owen Olsen. He's finally taking the lid off the basket here on night three of the Winter Classic. Jensen, three of his own, no good. Rebounded by Miller. Littlest guy on the floor getting up and grabbing the rebound. Push it across. Bridger Barfus near side looking down to Sorensen. Stolen away by... Perry, and then again, stolen on the pass. There's a new core steal by Jace Roberts. So 30 seconds to go here in the first half. Bears lead 40 to 18. Bridger will bring the ball up top, picked up by Gardner. Mason Sorensen high post. Jace working right. Goes up with it, got it off the glass. No, oh, wow, no. in and out. That was about as far down as you can go. Brody Miller pick it up, nine seconds to go. Bears can hold for the last shot now. Brody to Bridger from Steph Curry range, no good. And so Perry will come down with the rebound. The Utes will take possession into halftime. So Bears with a solid first half. I mean, first quarter was the first time that we've seen them have a good first quarter, I mean, this season. Yeah, finally a game you start off quick. And Owen Olsen making a huge impact. I mean, he's... He's getting it done on both ends. He's getting it done on both ends. He's had a couple new course steals. He's hit that money ball just a minute ago. And, um, yeah, no, he's finally taking the lid off the basket. So that's good to see. That's uh, especially early in the season right now after the first few games. So, um Hopefully we see more of that in the second half. Well, you mentioned earlier, Kyver's out with an ankle injury. We don't know how long he'll be out for. Hopefully not too long. It's just a sprain, though. Um, yeah, I think so. But sprains suck. <laughs> yeah, not fun. Especially when you're jumping and that's, jumping on it. I think it's the same ankle that he had hurt. Um, I think he hurt it again last year and the year before, too. So kind of recurring ankle issues. Yeah, hopefully we get him back. But 
I bring that up because somebody's got to step up in his spot. And yeah. Tonight it's been Owen Olson. Yeah. So. Yep. Last night, Kaser Thurgood stepped up, and now Owen Olson's really letting it fly, stepping up, being a team leader. And I mean, at the start of the game, we talked about those back cuts that they were making, getting wide open layups, and um, Owen started that. And then you see Jace start doing that, and eventually the whole team's cutting to the right spot. They're making the right reads see a guy with his back turned to you and they're going to the basket and getting layups so that's that's another hopeful thing for the Bears going forward but I mean we still got a second half to play so we can't think too far forward no yeah UN is not going to go away they're not they're not a fan of this 48 team ball game so far so we'll see what kind of adjustments they do we'll thank some of our sponsors and we'll come back with some half first half highlights here at the Bear River Winter Classic again don't go anywhere we got more for you Tanglewood Studios has something for everyone, whether it's dance, cheer, color guard, or gymnastics. There's even recreational all-boys gymnastics along with Mama Me classes. Enjoy co-ed hip-hop, classical ballet, point, contemporary, jazz, along with karate and parkour. Tanglewood is a USAG licensed gym offering bars, beam, vault, and a spring floor. Mom and Me and toddler classes are offered in music, dance, and gymnastics. Tanglewood Tots Preschool includes dance, gymnastics, music, and live sports. Singing classes, guitar, and musical theater are also offered. Family rates are available, so come join the fun. Get an inside look at the Jazz, the Utes, and the Cougars. Ben Anderson, Michelle Bodkin, and Mitch Harper. Your sports insiders on KSLSports.com, The Zone, and KSL-TV. Reserve a lane at the Bear River Bowling Center today. Cosmic Bowling is on Fridays and Saturdays, Mondays are family nights, and then it's $3 Tuesday. Ask about their birthday packages and order your favorite foods from the grill. has an app and it's free just go to your app store and type in Kent's Market and it'll come right up downloading the Kent's Market app gives you access to digital coupons weekly deals and access to your Kent's kickback account as you can see the app is easy to use and can help you save download it now and get exploring We'll see you soon at Kent's. If you are in need of financial assistance, call Dusty Roach at Lincoln Financial. He and his friendly staff have the expertise you'll need. Rudd Funeral Home is a locally owned family operated business. Joe Rudd and his family, as well as their devoted staff, are committed to providing you with the best service possible during a difficult time. Their beautiful facilities have all the necessary amenities. A large union room can also double as a smaller, more intimate funeral chapel. The chapel is even equipped with streaming capabilities to make sure family and friends are connected no matter how far they may be. Rudd Funeral Home is there to help you in your time of need. Coldwell Banker has a team of dedicated professionals who handle the complex process and make sure things run smoothly. Save time and money with Coldwell Banker. If you are selling, give Gary Matson a call for a free market analysis today. Mountain Valley Printing is your one-stop print shop. They print on all apparel, as well as photo prints, copies, canvases, metal prints, banners, and more. Check out their Bear River High School merch shop for amazing swag. They even have fundraising opportunities. 
JC's Country Diner is under new local management, but has the same great country charm so you can savor the flavor. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. Great Basin Industrial has been building America with epic safety and quality since 2007, specializing in steel fabrication, machining, and paint. GBI engineers, ships, installs, and repairs a wide range of products. They design and build all steel and alloy work according to the highest industry standards. Let GBI help you get your project completed on time and on budget. If you're looking for work, join GBI's team for a great work environment, competitive pay, and benefits. Time here at the Bear River Winter Classic. Bears in the lead, 40 to 18. Start of the third quarter. Again, welcoming you back. Thank you for your support by watching. So Bears start with it after halftime. Sorensen looking for the post up. Garrick at the high post, rebounded by Sorensen, kicked out to Roberts. Roberts at the top of the key finds Bridger near side. 
kicked up. Gehrig's got a wide open. Could have had a wide open shot. Decides to throw it down to Sorensen. Gets the jump ball. And so you Intel take possession. Not quite the way you want to come out of halftime. No, I get the idea. They wanted to get a, a high post, a low post look, but didn't quite get it. So um, Jensen finds pickup. Pick up back over to 23. That is Braden Murray. Perry dribbles left, finds Gardner, handoff. Jensen again, deep three. No good. Ball's batted around, picked up by pickup. It's in the name. <laughs> um, but uh, batted out bounds, so it'll stay you into ball. Fresh 35. You want to like to get Jensen going. He's been really quiet here in the first half. Pick up the inbound. Gardner coming around a screen. Jensen cutting to the basket. Stop stolen. There's a new course steal by Garrick Marble. Owen loses possession of the ball. Kind of going to get batted around. Sorensen going to try and come up with it. And again, off his fingertips and out of bounds. Kind of ugly first minute of the third quarter here. Yeah, two kind of sloppy possessions here for Bear River to open up the second half. Gardner, pick up. High post. Takes a three, no good. Mason Sorensen jumping out of bounds with the rebound. Owen crosses the timeline near side. Finds Garrick down low. Garrick's gonna try and go to work. Finds Jace Roberts, far side. Holy cow. Bears just, that's two turnovers in a row there. So Jensen taking it, kicks it out to Perry. Perry driving middle, nothing there, kicking it out. Braden Murray thinks about a three. Nothing there. Bridger going for the new course still. Doesn't get it. And Jensen picking up. I think that might be, well, that might be his second basket of the game. But other than that, nothing else there. But get it down quick. Mason Sorensen with the layup off the assist from Bridger Barfus. New course still by Sorensen. Bears go the other way. Owen. Up fast to Bridger. Bridger driving to the basket. Off the glass and good. Bridger Barfus attacking the basket, getting it to go. They're starting to clean everything up now. Pick up, driving left. Nothing there. Pick stopped by Garrick. Garrick reaches in, knocks the ball out. So he'll get new dribble. And Jensen taking it right, getting down the lane. Mason oh, Sorensen with a nasty block. Oh my. Holy yeah, we got to see a replay on that one. I don't think anybody saw that one coming. No. I out, mean, of, out of nowhere, the throw down. Right back to <laughs> Jensen. That's, that's, that's two nasty blocks for Mason in this game. So you Intel come back with the ball. There's a almost stolen. Mason comes down with the rebound and kind of falls out and goes to Jace. Jace gets tripped up by Garrick. Mason loses the ball. And Gardner hanging all over Roberts. Roberts gives the ball to Bridger, and he'll set up the offense. Coach calling the plays. Mason going to work down low. Got it at the high post, near side corner. Barfus wide open under the basket. Decide not to throw it. Jace cutting. He's going to get a pretty open layup. Great cut by Jace Roberts again. Something that Owen Olsen... Started in the first half, they started cutting off ball, and now they're getting looks. But Gardner will bring it the other way. Near side to pick up. Pick up, going to work on Mason. No, he's going to give it up to Murray. Gardner working on Gehrig. Step back three, got it. Another so one that was kind of quiet as well, Jensen and Gardner. They're two leading scorer guys. Quite in the first half. Hopefully they get them going in the second. But uh, yeah, you went to take a 30 second timeout. We'll um, take. We can go ahead and take it with them, and we will be right back here for the continuation of the third quarter. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware. 
happily serving the community since 1976. Is Uintas. Uintas timeout. We've got four minutes, 27 seconds here in the third. Bear River on the possession now. The Bears absolutely putting it on Uinta right now. Doubled them, 46 to 23. They're going to come out in a full court defense. Jace picked up. Dribbles left, finds Bridger. Skip pass to Owen, and Owen's going to throw it away. Gardner bringing it the other way. Pulls up for the three, going right, got it. That's two in a row. Gardner's heating up in the second half after a fairly quiet first, first half. Bridger, wide open shot for the money ball, no good. Yeah, you could tell that was short. As soon as he left his fingers, he tried to run that one back down. Garrick hustles for the ball, doesn't, tries to throw it off the, uh, off of Perry, but it'll stay you ball, so. Gardner brings it across, finds Perry. Perry dribbles left, nothing there. Jensen going left. Over to Gardner. Gardner dribbling on uh, Owen Olsen. Jensen step back shot, got it. And just like that, the tides turn in this game. There's three straight threes in a row for you into. It's a quick way to get back into this one. Ritter, far side. Miss Garrick on the cutter, but Owen's gonna have the money ball shot, no good. Gardner fast across the timeline, finds Jensen in the corner. Jensen for three, no good, rebounded by Garrick. And it's gonna go out of bounds, but it's gonna stay Bear River ball. Well, the well runs dry momentarily at the three point line here for Uena. Also like to point out, Garrick hasn't scored in this game yet. He's been pretty quiet. Um, I mean, but then again, last night, he didn't get going until the second half, so. Oh, yeah. Not a huge problem, but I mean, something to look at. Stolen by Pickup. Barfus with a pass gets taken away. Pickup goes the other way. Over Garrett Marble, got it. Coast to coast, J.D. Pickup. Man, Pick another still. Another still and up. Just like that, Uinta's back in this game. They just cut a 23 lead into 13. Coach Shaw, not too happy. He wants to talk about it. 2.40 left to go. And see in our replay to take us into the commercial break. JD Pickup bringing another spark here for the Utes. Find your next career at West Liberty Foods. Visit careers.wlfoods.com. Let Trudy Hatch and Shannon Johnson help you get into the home of your dreams. They're your local experts for all your mortgage needs. Give them a call today. Miller Medical is ready to care for clients with full services for family medical. They also offer beauty and spa health treatments with hot stone and IV vitamin therapies, as well as Botox. Let Miller Medical take care of all your health care needs. Mountain Valley Printing is your one-stop print shop. They print on all apparel, as well as photo prints, copies, canvases, metal prints, banners, and more. Check out their Bear River High School merch shop for amazing swag. They even have fundraising opportunities. JC's Country Diner is under new local management, but has the same great country charm so you can savor the flavor. Two minutes, 40 seconds left to go. Final game of the Bear River Winter Classic. So Kaser Thurgood's back into the game for the Bears. Bridger gets across the timeline. Got a guy chasing them down. Kicked over to Thurgood. Thurgood drives down the middle, puts up a shot, got it. Kaser Thurgood, instant spark off the bench. Push the lead back to 15. Gardner dribbles left, goes down the lane. Puts it up off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Barfus. Barfus up to Cash. Ritter streaking down the middle of the court. Gehrig, Cash in the corner, wide open shot for the money ball, got it. Cash Avery with his first money ball of the game. There's gonna be a travel on Uinta. 
So just as fast as things can turn in the right direction for Uinta, things go right back for Bear River. Cash thinks about the three, finds Kaser cutting. Nothing there. Kaser's in the corner. Up to Cash. Back to Kaser in front of the bench. Kaser will pull it out. Garrig, far side, right in front of their bench. Bridger up top again, working it around. Cash curls around, probably a slapping foul. Ritter going to the basket, everybody's slapping down, and one, Ritter goes up strong, gets the foul and gets the two. He'll go to the Frank Mace, do free throw line, shooting one. Yeah, three point opportunity. I like the aggressiveness here on Uenos coming out in the second half. Then sometimes you get away with one, you won't get away with the other. So, so far Ritter has got, now he's got nine points after knocking down that free throw. Gardner on Avery, scores. Gardner's heating up in the second half. Ball gets middle, which is what they're looking to do. Avery drives, nothing. New course steal, what a hustle play by Bridger Barfus and he gets the layup. Push it back to a 21 point game, another new course steal. Up and he's got another one. That's four points in less than 10 seconds for Bridger Barfus on two hustle plays, getting two new course steals. What a defensive play for Bridger. Now Kaser almost coming away with one too. They're gonna call a foul on him. Like you said, we're right when you started seeing some light here from Uena to get back into this when the Bears is kicking the door back shut. I love the hustle by Bridger Barfus. Love how on offense they're staying composed in the press. Gardner puts up a fadeaway shot. That's a tough shot. He is cooking. He is firing on all cylinders right now. They're good. Back out in the corner. Avery near side. In front of the student section. Owen up top. Picked up. Passes to Kaser, Bridger, far side, skip pass to Case Avery. Bridger's gonna pull it out, try to slow things down. Kaser, Cash in the corner. Two money balls in this quarter for Cash Avery in huge moments where they need them the most. Push the lead to 24, which I think is the biggest lead the Bears have had all day. Yeah, he gets one from each corner here in the third quarter. On the drive foul, stops the clock, three seconds. Gardner holding his hand, got slapped down. They're going to call the foul on Cash. But uh, right now, the Bears just do not have an answer for Dawson Gardner. Marie, fade away. Nothing there, so we will go into the fourth quarter, 61-37. Tides kind of changed there for a minute. You went to made a run at it, and uh, but the Bears come firing right back at them after a timeout, so it'll be interesting to see how the fourth quarter goes. And we will take a commercial break and bring you back for it. Don't go anywhere. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. Final game, final quarter here with the Bear River Winter Classic. Bears trying to wrap up a sweep here against the UNA Youths. In the lead, 61-37. Kaser inbounds the ball to Cash Avery. Avery, far side Owen. Surveys the defense, back up to K Kaser. Good find. There's a foul for sure. Looked kind of out of a, kind of a frustration foul. Regarding which I don't know why. I mean, I understand they're losing, but I mean, to slap like that, I, 
I don't get it. Ten seconds into the quarter, but to everyone their own, I guess. Foul's reset, right? <laughs> yeah. Kaser, money ball shot, got it. Caldwell Banker, money ball. Kaser, Thurgood. Jensen, far side in front of the Uinta bench, dribbling middle. Kicked out, Murray, 4-3, no good. Ball's batted around, picked up by Kaser. Owen, skips the ball across to Cash. Shot no good. Rebounded by Perry. Uinta goes the other way. Shot's no good for Dawson. Hustle play by JD Pickup gets the gets the rebound and they're gonna call a foul on the Bears. Kind of caught him in a trap there. That's a tough situation to be stuck in, but kind of gets bailed out by the ref. Yeah, Pickup just trying to push his way through the double team. Able to draw the foul, so each team has one team foul. Timeout taken here by Bear River. We've only been playing a minute here in the fourth. So he'll take a 30 second timeout, try to see if they can kind of clean it up there. Yeah, reconstruct. They had a. UN actually came out a little bit quicker. Yeah, the fourth and Bears. A little bit more aggressive, too. I mean, they were. Towards the end of that third quarter, they got up in their face, but I mean, coming out already, it's. They're in. They're, they're trying to start a dogfight here. So. Um, They've also got to come up with an answer for Dawson Gardner. I mean, he is, he's, like I said, firing on all cylinders right now. And um, they got Kaser Thurgood on him, who's done a good job at defending the last few days. And um, so, yeah, it should be, should be interesting to see how they decide to handle that. Actually, Owen Olson's on Gardner, so. Avery picks up Sorensen. Perry driving right. Goes middle. Fade away. No good. Rebounded by Jones. Rebound. Jones. Owens going to bring the ball up for the Bears. Driving down the lane. Ritter stepping back for three for the money ball. No good. But he's going to hustle for his rebound and get knocked over. They're going to call a foul on Uinta. So Ritter making up for the missed shot. Gets his own rebound. Which I, that's not something you're going to see often is Ritter, Braden Ritter stepping back behind the line. Um, no, he thought he was feeling it. I've I've seen him knock him down, so I'm I don't I don't hate the shot. It's just something you don't see it too often. Ritter puts up a shot. Maybe he had Case Thurgood on that wing, but decides not to kick it out. Pick up down the middle, cut by. Oldham, Oldham off the glass, got it. Cash Avery with the ball. Bounce pass to Kaser Thurgood, skipped across, pick up. There's going to be almost another steal, but uh, ball gets swatted out of bounds, so Bears will keep possession. New shot clock. And the aggressiveness here by UN is not slowing down at all. Bears trying to get the ball middle, break the press. Ooh, ball almost lost. Garrick decides to put up a shot, no good. He's still scoreless in this game. Gardner puts up another shot, got it. He is just on fire right now. There is not much you can do to stop him right now. Yeah, I think he's only missed one shot taken here in the fourth. That was kind of a rush three-pointer. And I was going to say, they better call that. Garrick's not much of a flopper, so. <laughs> fourth personal foul. Here on Perry, or not Perry. But uh, Barfus and Roberts will check back in for the Bears. Um, 
Chase will bring the ball across the timeline. Over to Owen. Tries to get it down to Garrick, but no good. Off his hand, and Uinta goes the other way. Jensen, pull up floater from the free throw line. Got it. So Jensen waited until the second half to wake up. Ritter loses the ball. Gardner's got it. Jensen's streaking down the other side of the floor. Gardner thinks about to throw it, but he doesn't. Um, Wisely. Yeah, probably would have been picked off. Um, but uh, Oldham brings the ball up, and he'll pull it out, set up an offense pickup. High post. Here comes Gardner curling around, gets the ball, dribbles right, nothing there because he's cut off by Barfus. Far side Jensen thinks about a three, pump fakes, goes down the middle. Stop, pop, no good. Rebounded by Gardner. Shots no good. And Gehrig gets the rebound. They're going the other way. Barfus finds Gehrig, high post, decides to step back, puts up a shot. I think he got fouled on that one. Not on the hands or anything, but... Um, Gardner looking for Jensen far and throws it out of bounds. Um, Mason Sorenson will check back in for Braden Ritter. Couldn't think of his name there for a minute. I've said it 25 times tonight, but. Mm, trying to catch him off guard, taken away by pickup. Pickup again with another steal. Owen, oh, top of the. Top of the three-point line. Garrick, oh, and cutting again. He gets fouled. So on the shot, he gets fouled. He'll go to the free, free the Frank Mayskidu free throw line. Another good cut by Owen, though. And right there, you can see his. Again, you had two guys. Yeah, it's once and down underneath, too. Yeah, so, I mean, one thing, that, one thing Owen's doing a really good job at is if you watch that replay, you notice that his defender turns his back entirely to him. And as soon as you see the back of his head, he just goes. And that's worked for him probably four or five times now tonight. Um, but he knocks down the first one. Put up the second, got it. So he's two for two at the Frank Mace do free throw line. And you went to bring it. Just under four minutes to go, 66-43 for the Bears. Gardner, driving middle, spins back, and Owen Olson's going to foul him on the shot. Might have caught an elbow to the face there. Yeah, Jensen gives it off here to Dawson and breaks it across the baseline. Had him wide open, but the two guys on him, hard to see him. His first shot's up and good. Only the second team foul here for Bear River. 14 fouls on the youth. So Bears get trying to move a little too quick and throw a pass. It goes out of bounds. Um, tended for Bridger Barfus. You into ball. Oldham brings it across the timeline. Finds pickup near side. Down to Gardner. Gardner going to try and work on Owen, but there's a foul. Third team foul. Inbounded to Oldham. Gardner up top, thinks about a three. Step back, Mason Sorensen in his face. No good. Barfus grabs the rebound, finds Owen Olson. Owen Olson will bring it across slow. Picked up by pickup. Again, it's in the name. <laughs> um, Marble top finds Bridger. Sorensen with the rebound, puts it up, got it. Good follow by Mason Sorensen. Great cut by Bridger Barfus. Again, that back cut is just working for him. I mean, shot doesn't fall, but that doesn't. That's no, there's no discredit to um, Bridger Barfus making the smart play. So Jensen thinks about a three, driving right on Bridger. Brody Miller reaches in, knocks the ball out, and uh, it'll stay you into ball. 20 on the shot clock. Gardner, wide open shot, no good. Rebounded by... Ooh. From behind nice the block. block. Nice block by Dawson Gardner. He's getting up a little. May have twisted gingerly. his ankle coming down on that. But uh, 
I like how Brody didn't just give up on it knowing that he had a guy behind him. Um, it's a credit to Brody Miller for going up strong. Dawson has to come out. Miller in the corner. Money ball for Brody Miller. That's his first basket of the season. Brody finds himself wide open in the corner and knocks down the shot, which he's a great shooter. Brody Miller's a great shooter. Coming off the bench the first time in the second half and just draining a three. Mason Sorensen with another block. That's three. Sending them back, and then there's the new course still by Owen Olsen. Garrick down low, going to work, shoved. Where's the foul on that one? Timeout going to be taken by Coach Shaw. Full timeout. Got to see a replay on that one. Again, here's the block by Mason, Mason. sends it back to the volleyball line almost. Then they set up. That was not the replay we were thinking of. <laughs> But uh, yeah, probably a foul on that shot, though. I mean, like, like you said, he's not pick up put. He's not a flopper no. by any means. So if he's going to the floor that violently, I mean, you and you see him get up and kind of be like, "Dude, what's going on?" Like, <laughs> we'll continue on with two ten left to go here in the ballgame. So checking into the game for the first time is for the Bears, Beckham Reese, Bridger Adams, Maverick Sorensen, Cody Nelson, and then again Ty Jones. But Beckham comes up with a new core still, taking it to the basket, throws it up, got it. Great play on the defensive end, leading into a great offensive play by Beckham Reese. So I'm not going to know any of these Uinta players' names. <laughs> anymore for the rest of yeah, the game. So I'm teams, gonna, both teams cleared the benches. This is real. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to stick with numbers for a minute. <laughs> Actually I know that one. That was Oldham. So Oldham drives the basket, nothing there. Adams driving middle. Cody Nelson, good cut. Back and down, goes up with it. Shot no good. Beckham, guard number fifteen in the corner. Going to dribble it out, pull it out. Up to number three. Oldham, far side. Rios gets the ball up top. Jab step, kicks it out. Three, no good. Rebounded by Reese. Bears will go the other way. So under a minute left, Bears up 30. Um, really solid game for the Bears. A few letdowns there, but I mean, overall, um, well played game for the Bears. Reese, near side, finds Jones. Jones squares up, puts up a shot, got it. Knocked down from mid-range in the corner. That's his bread and butter right there. Been watching Ty for the last few years, and you don't want to leave him open um, in the corner <laughs> in the mid-range. Almost another steal here by Nelson. Nelson, good defense. Adams. And maybe a travel there, but uh, they're going to call the foul on... I believe Ty Jones. That'll be the fourth team foul. Again, only 12 That's seconds left to go. 15, Rios to the line here for the UN. Angela Jr. First one short. Yeah, I think one of the good takeaways to come here, we haven't seen the Bears start off quick so far this season and change your mind here this Afternoon. Yeah, another thing I'd like to point out is that uh, as he misses the second um, and rebounds his own shot, but Garrig hasn't done, he hasn't been stellar yet. And that's, I think that's honestly something that other teams coming up should be thinking about. Um, but the Bears will walk away with a 77 to 45 win um, over Uinta. Um, solid showing for the Bears again on the third night. They're all gassed, they're out without Kyver. Um, played two far, hard, hard, hard fought games this weekend and to come out on Saturday against a really tough 
solid Uinta team and um, put, put the hurt on them like this is that's a that's a really solid impressive win for the Bears. Yeah, going back to going back to Marble. I mean, he has been playing varsity since a freshman. Everybody in their dog knows about yeah. Garrett Marble. So yeah. he's he, when you go play Bear River, that's the first guy you try to take out of the ball game. But and and the good thing is, I mean, Garrett finds other ways to help the team win. I mean, he had a few rebounds, played really solid defense, had a block there, and I think in the second quarter. Um, yeah. I mean, he had probably five assists. Um, and so it just goes to show this this Bear River team is so deep that they don't need their star player to put up 15 points a game. No. So, and Owen Olsen comes out, shows out in the first half, and really, really sets the tone for the Bears. So, again, solid win for the Bears and uh, positive things to look forward to for the Bears for sure. Well... Like all the other nights, we'll see if we can catch our player of the game. We'll even talk with Coach Shaw, get his closing thoughts here as the Winter Classic wraps up. So a little bit more for you here at Bear River High School. We'll just step aside for a moment and be right back. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. Great Basin Industrial has been building America with epic safety and quality since 2007, specializing in steel fabrication, machining, and paint. GBI engineers, ships, installs, and repairs a wide range of products. They design and build all steel and alloy work according to the highest industry standards. Let GBI help you get your project completed on time and on budget. If you're looking for work, join GBI's team for a great work environment, competitive pay, and benefits. Welcome back here to Bear River High School, wrapping up the Winter Classic. Bears get a good win, 77-45 over the UNA Utes. And we've got our players down on the court. Let's see if we can get them away so they're not going to get hit by a ball. And we will start off with Braden Ritter here on the court. Jessica, go ahead and take it away. Okay, Ritter, you really came alive tonight in the Winter Classic. Tell us what it was like to be able to put up those points and support the team in that way. Uh, it felt really good to just support our team, and, and we all together, all of us had a really good game, and I think it was probably one of our funnest games yet. So, and so you guys had a little bit of a letdown in the third, where it looked like they might make a comeback, but you guys quickly shut that down. Tell me, what was the mentality there? Uh, we kind of just came out slow, and I think a big part of that is we started playing more as a team, and we started having more fun with it. So. How does going undefeated in the Winter Classic help you guys as you move forward into the next week? Uh, moving forward, I think this just gives us a lot of confidence into the next game, and we're just ready to go prepare for the next. Congrats, and good luck next week. Okay, hey. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, Owen, you really came alive tonight. Like, you always do some pretty good stuff, but tonight it seemed like you stepped up to take over for Kyver being out. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, my whole team was just making really good passes today. We were moving the ball well, transitioning well. I just, I'm just glad we got the win. So you're going to be our grill player of the night tonight for your efforts. Um, as you mentioned, it's a really good team effort. It's hard for us to pick an uh, individual because of that, but you just really stuck out above the rest, especially in that first half. Um, 
how do the players that help you, like your team, build you up to be able to make those plays? Um, last couple of days I've been struggling shooting, and they just keep like giving you confidence. So I always need to keep shooting. So yeah, none of them, no, nobody puts us down on our team. We're all just telling each other to keep shooting. So yeah, it's fun. And so you guys go undefeated with this. How's that going to help for next week? And what are some of the games that we can look forward to? I think we got Clearfield, and then we got some teams down south, but. It's super good that we got a three-game win streak. Hopefully, we can keep it going into the next week and get some nice wins down south. Okay, I got this card for you. So, uh, congrats on that player of the game, and good luck next week. Yep. And then we'll get sorts of next. Again, I'd like to thank the Grill for sponsoring your player of the game. And then the guy blocking everything tonight. Could you, ask him if he, could you ask him if he knows right, what Sorenson, mom's making? You are a tall guy, and you really put that to advantage tonight. Uh, had some great blocks. Tell us a little bit about how that felt. Uh, honestly, it was it was very energetic. I thought it was fun. It was a fun game. Uh, it was a little funny when I blocked the kid. Everybody's freaking out. It's good energy all around. It was good. So obviously, you guys had an awesome Winter Classic, but just tell me what it feels like to wrap this up with your team tonight with going undefeated. Oh, it's so good. Uh, when we work as a team, we're, we're honestly one of the better teams in the state, and it, it just makes basketball fun. But, yeah. So not only great on defense tonight, but you had some great buckets too. Just tell me what it's like to be able to, you know, get those, take the lid off that basket and be able to get some of that. Uh, it's nice to feel that I can support the team in my, my own ways, and I don't know, it just ended up working out for me the way I was able to score and worked out for the team. We played really good. And what can we expect from Bear River basketball the rest of the season? Hopefully a region title. That's what we're looking forward to. That's our goal. Get there and then go from there. Possibly state. But, yeah. Well, congrats this week and good luck next week. Okay, thank you. Yeah, back to you guys. All right, again, I'd like to thank you for your support by watching. Thanks to Dax for hopping on and helping out. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I look forward to it every time. And uh, hopefully I get more opportunities in uh, this season. So, Yeah, we'll see what goes on down the road. It's a long season and unpredictability happens. But yeah, good win here by the Bears, 77-45. Anything more to add from what the players said? No, I mean, they all, they all hit on it. That's a great team win. Um, the bench is deep. They can play, they can play 10 guys deep and every single player that comes on is gonna make an impact. And, um, that's a scary thing to have. I mean, not often do teams keep eight seniors. Um, no. Skyview has the last few years, but uh, no, the last, I mean, last year you only have one senior. So this year you have a lot of juniors stepping, or a lot of seniors stepping up that have had varsity experience. And uh, honestly, I think going forward, that's something that other teams in the state should be like, okay, we really need to buckle down against this team because anyone can go off on any night, like, Kaser had a good night the first night scoring the ball. Um, you don't expect that coming from a sophomore. Cash came in, and I think he had eight or nine points last night. Um, Gehrig scored 10 in the second half last night. Um, Bridger goes off for 20 on the first night, and then today we have Owen going for 14. And uh, he hasn't been able to take the lid off the basket until today. So, again, there's a lot to look forward to for the Bears. Um, great team win. Um, but, yeah, they're, they're scary. Their depth, their depth is a scary thought for other teams. So we're just waiting on Coach Reggie Shaw. We'll have a post-game interview with him as well, giving him his insight on the wrap-up of the Bear River Winter Classic. Looks like he's marching down the stairs, and we can grab him. But again, yeah, this, this team's going to make region play a lot more interesting this year. And yeah, the last few years kind of struggled just uh, picking up wins. And, you know, once you lose a few games, you kind of, it gets hard to win again. And that's that's kind of been the, the story of the last few years. So hopefully this year they can start a new winning tradition um, like it was in years past. Um, something I really look forward to and I'm excited to see. Looks like we about got Coach Shaw here. And he says, give us. Wrap up of the Winter Classic. We go back down to the court here with Jessica with the coach. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
mic's not on. It's, not <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> All right, sorry. So just going undefeated in the Winter Classic, how does it feel? How confident are you moving forward knowing how well your guys did tonight? Uh, re really good. That was a good. That was a good three games. Um, I think the most important thing was we got better in all three games. Uh, we were much better today than we were on Thursday, and we were better last night than we were Thursday, and we were better tonight than we were last night. And um, that's important. That's key. Um, you know. So I love that. The other thing I loved is that we were able to really see what we have on the bench, um, especially the last couple games. Um, losing Kyver early yesterday and not having him yesterday and today, and Owen's been a little hobbled and giving some of those young guys an opportunity to prove themselves, and they, they did. They played really, really well. So I feel really confident knowing, that, hey, we got we got eight, nine, even ten guys on this team that, that can play basketball and can produce at the varsity level. Yeah. And on the lines with Ky uh, Kyver getting hurt, he's got a twisted ankle. Not really sure how long he'll be out at this point. But how does that affect your team? And obviously tonight you had a lot of people step up that were able to take care of it, but how does that affect you guys moving forward? Yeah, no, that's that's tough. I mean, anytime you lose a, a key player like that, especially a, a three-year starter, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult on the team. And you know, you lose some on-the-court leadership there, and um, kind of some poise. But um, we don't we don't lose much because we have other guys that that step up and can fill that role. I mean, yeah, Kyber does some special things that that other guys can't do, but uh, we do have some guys that step in and and do other things. I, I'm really happy with. With those guys, you know, um, we'll we'll kind of assess Kyver day to day and just see how see how things go next week. Um, but I'm I'm confident that you know we'll be able to kind of fill that void and fill those holes as as needed, and uh, hope that we can get him taken care of and back as soon as possible. As you mentioned, you've got a lot of good players this year. It's been kind of hard for us to pick players of the game in this tournament because you could really give it to anyone. They're also deserving. Tell us a little bit about some specific players to watch for who you're excited to see. Yeah, no, this was, like you said, I, I feel like a lot of guys stepped up, did different things. Um, tonight, as a team, I think the most impressive thing we did was move the ball. I know at halftime we had 15 assists on 17 buckets. I don't know what we ended up with. Um, but this team is going to thrive if we play together. And so I hope that's a common theme, night in and night out, that you guys are struggling. Who's Who was the best player tonight? I hope that, that you struggle with that every night. That's a sign of a good game for us. Um, yeah, I was I was really excited. One thing I was excited about tonight in particular was how Gehrig was involved without scoring the basketball. Um, he had six assists at halftime. I don't know how many he ended up with, um, but man, there was a couple times I thought, man, that's a great shot for him, and he made an extra pass. We got a wide open layup, and um, I thought that was excellent. And so um, as he continues to produce uh, as far as scoring the basketball goes, uh, she's going to add another dynamic moving the basketball. Um, I thought. Uh, uh, last night in particular, I thought a few guys stepped up. I can think of a couple plays, um, but I think uh, last night, Jace Roberts' three-pointer at the top of the key there was was key. Um, I like what uh, um, some guys are doing defensively. Obviously, Bridger Barfus has been excellent. Um, he, uh, as of the start of this game for 4A, he was leading the state in rebounds as a 5'9", as 5'10", five, five, guard. That's, uh, that's impressive. He had 13, 13 last night against a team full of 6'4", six, 6'5", six, guys. Um, again, I don't know what he had tonight. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think, I think one thing I saw over the weekend that really impresses me is how diverse some of our players can be. I know which guys can score, which guys can defend, which guys can do this. Um, but all the other things guys were doing this weekend was, was really impressive and makes me feel really confident going forward. So you guys have Clearfield next week and then some other fun ones throughout the month of December. Just tell us what you, we can expect there. Yeah, next week we, we get Clearfield at home. Um, that's a really good basketball team. They, uh, they've had some good wins. They beat Mountain Crest. They beat Morgan up pretty good the other day. Um, I think they got a big win last night. Um, so that's a team that's rolling right now. Um, we're going to need a lot of support here Tuesday night to, to kind of back us up there. And then next weekend we're over at Skyview, but we're playing Desert Hills, Cedar, and Pineview. Get some of those southern schools who are off to good starts as well. And we got a, we got a real big week next week. And so... Um, right now, we're you know kind of focused on what what Clearfield's going to look like, but we're really excited about what we got coming up. Well, congrats! So thanks, Coach. All right, thank you. Back to you guys. All right, again, thanks for Coach and Chanshare for sponsoring the coaches' chat. Again, yeah, that's not a lot of rest. He had a 
three games back to back here. Go next week. Go four games. Yeah, you got next it. week. You had Bonneville on Tuesday. You have one day to rest on Wednesday, and then we had we just finished up the Winter Classic. That's three in a row. That's four. That's eight games in two weeks, Ooh. which you are not going to see in region. But also, you got to think about it. That's really good practice for a state tournament because yes. you could be you could be playing an eight o'clock game in the second round of the playoffs and win that one next day you're playing at noon. Like you're not gonna get the 7 p.m.s unless you make it to the state tournament. And so I really like the idea of playing these games in the middle of the day early in the season. So then you get a feel for, okay, this is what a state championship, what a state tournament's gonna look, feel like other than the venue's gonna be a lot bigger and it's gonna be a, mean a lot more. And but it helps with all the conditioning because now with how they've done things with oh, the yeah. RPI and everything, I mean, you got a week of practice, basically, and then it's time to start the season. Yeah. So, uh, no, I, I, uh, it's a quick turnaround, and but I'm excited to see how they handle it. I mean, these are the way that they play in the next week is going to be an early indicator of what you're going to see for the rest of the season. Um, and I expect to see them come out um, again, play like a team like they did tonight. Phenomenal team win. Um, coach touched on it, and I. Uh, no, seriously, over the next – I think this is the biggest week, other than when region starts and when they get to state. Um, I think this is going to be the biggest week until then. So I'm excited to see it. All right, well, you heard the coach. Need your support out here next week. Next Tuesday, the host Clearfield. Falcons coming into this one on a roll. See if we can slow them down. Well, again, Dax, I'd like to thank you for your help. Thanks for having me. Oh. Always a pleasure to have you on the call. We'd like to thank these sponsors as well for making uh, this production possible. We'd like to thank Great Basin Industrial, JC's Country Diner, KSLSports.com, CNR Trailer Sales, Frank May Skidoo, Chan Shares, Sod Farms, New Course Steel, Dr. Todd Miller and Miller Medical, Rudd Funeral Homes, The Grail, Lincoln Financial, Tanglewood Studios, Kent's Market, Academy Mortgage, Cash Valley Bank, West Liberty Foods, Greer's Hardware, and Cover Up, and last but not least, your Moneyball sponsor, Caldwell banker have a good rest of your weekend we'll catch back up with you tuesday night as the bears host the clearfield falcons right here at memorial gymnasium until then you've been watching bear of a laugh